Now, the historic first, the Indian Space Agency, ISRO, and the American Space Agency, NASA, are working on a satellite mission. The idea was born in 2014 and is now close to attaining fruition. NISAR is a scientific satellite and also, in a span of 12 days, can map the entire Earth during day and also during night in all weather conditions. And our correspondent, Siddharth MP, has sent us this report about NISAR. A team of Indian and American space scientists are gathered at a NASA facility. The customary coconut is broken and everyone cheers in excitement. A jar of lucky peanuts is shared and there are smiles all around. The Indian and American space scientists are acknowledging each other's culture and lucky charms. It's common in India to break a coconut on an auspicious occasion. It's seen as a remover of obstacles. American scientists at the Jet Propulsion Laboratory consider it a lucky charm to have lucky peanuts during a major mission or milestone. Scientists from both nations are celebrating a big milestone. Their work is steadily progressing and it is a project that is important for the whole world. They've come so far battling all odds. Today is about more than hardware, it's about more than outstanding science, it's about people and it's about partnerships. It's about the members of our NASA and JPL team working with our ISRO colleagues. They've worked so closely together to overcome all sorts of challenges, global pandemic, for example, to really get us to today. It's called NISAR, NASA ISRO Synthetic Aperture Radar. It's a sophisticated space-based imaging technology that can provide extremely high-resolution images of the Earth. The image data from this satellite can help scientists identify changes on land and ice down to a fraction of an inch. Virtually everybody on this earth is going to be affected by the science data that NISAR is going to return. Farmers knowing they're overwatering, underwatering, don't plant in this field, optimizing their crop yield, which is extremely important throughout the world. So NISAR has the ability to touch everyone. And there's not many science missions that can say that. Operating from an altitude of 747 kilometers above the Earth, the satellite and its data will help scientists predict natural disasters and better understand the impact of climate change. NISAR is designed to work in day, night and all weather conditions. Every 12 days in orbit, NISAR will be able to map the entire Earth. The mission is designed to stay in orbit for at least three years, but it could well last more than five years. We have been working on an interesting uh, payload, the NISR, the Sundari Kaposha Radar, in two bands, L and S band. Uh, the integration of this payload, both at India and at JPL, has been now completed. It has gone through all the development testing, evaluation. Now we are flagging off from JPL to India for the further integration with the satellite bus. In the true spirit of teamwork, the mission responsibilities have been split equally between NASA and ISRO. NASA has developed crucial satellite components, including the L-band radar, the radar reflector antenna, and onboard electronics and communication hardware. ISRO, which has developed the S-band radar, will be integrating the satellite and performing the launch and satellite mission operations. ISRO Chairman Dr. S. Somnath said that the NASA ISRO Synthetic Aperture Radar is just the beginning of collaboration between the Indian and U.S. space agencies. He said that ISRO and NASA look forward to working on several important missions in the field of space technology, applications of space technology, and space science missions to explore the unknowns of the universe. He said that the India-U.S. partnership in space does not just benefit the two nations, but benefits the larger global scientific community. The crucial payloads for the NISAR mission are expected to reach India by the end of February and thereafter it will undergo several phases of integration and testing to get the satellite ready. And once the satellite is ready, by the first quarter of 2024, it is expected to be launched from India's Satish Dhawan Space Center on board a GSLV rocket. From Chennai, Siddharth MP, Vyond, World is One. Vyond is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.